continuously increasing in our country rapidly so i remind you to protect yourself from this covid-19 virus wash your hands regularly sanitize yourself keep safe distance from the people around you and stay home apart from all these please do take your time for your studies that will help you with your coming exams so we here the teachers of holy cross school are providing you with some video tutorials that will help you with your studies today i am here to teach class 4 students chapter number 8 clothes we wear so the contents for this chapter i'll be teaching you is history of clothes why do we wear clothes the clothes we wear special clothes traditional clothing materials for clothes natural fibers man made fibers and lastly taking care for clothes let's start with history of clothes as we know that food is essential part of our life as food gives us energy to do work same way as food clothes are also very essential and basic part of our life but there was a time when people had no clothes to wear to cover their body but we hardly know when that clothes came and when out of fashion so the question here arises that how do early men make clothes people says that clothing goes back 5000 years when the early humans originated and weather was quite pleasant at that time those early men could actually survive with no clothes on but what when these people moved to europe or siberia like places where the weather is quite cold what did do, do to overcome those temperatures after the invention of tools from stones wood and the things around them they used those tools to hunt down hairy animals for the skin and had a lot of fur they used the skin of those hairy animals and fur to keep themselves warm gradually when they came up with farming they started growing flax the plant that was first used as agriculture and which provided fibrous materials and made cloth of it and therefore the first cloth material they made was linen this was the oldest evidence of human being making cloth of thread so now we learned about how the clothes came into existence but hardly we think that why do we wear clothes there are variety of reasons that we wear clothes okay let me ask your you or ask yourself what are you wearing today how did you choose to protect yourself did you ever stop to question yourself why did modern humans started wearing clothes if yes that's a good thing that you are aware why do we wear clothes and if no let's discuss about it the first reason and the important reason we wear clothes is to cover our body wearing clothes help us to build our own identity and show our modesty which is being established by our society through the advancement and modification from the early men to the modern people we are now it pro- it protects us from the dust clothes act as a shield when we move outside or when we put on some clothes for a longer period of time the dust present in our surroundings settle on our clothes and at that time clothes protect us from the dust protect clothes protect us from the scorching heat of the sun when we go outside on a sunny day for a longer period of time 
we are exposed to the sun our part of the body becomes tanned and sometimes we get sunburn too in this way co clothes protect us from the scorching heat of the sun clothes protect us from excessive cold during winter when the temperature is bit low and weather is quite cold woolen and warm clothes help us to protect from cold and make us feel comfortable the last point clothes protect us from the insect bites clothes protect us from insect bites when we move out and we are not aware of the insect that is stuck on us also at night long sleeve clothes protect us from the mosquito bites in this way clothes protect us from variety of ways and that's the reason we wear clothes so we came to know, know about the reason of wearing clothes do you know we wear clothes according to the different type of seasons yes we wear clothes according to different type of seasons we experience like in summer season we prefer cotton clothes it is hot in summer season so we sweat a lot thus we wear such type of clothes that will allow air to pass through it at that time cotton clothes would be the best suited for those summer season as cotton clothes allows air to pass through it in summer we also prefer to wear light color clothes because light color clothes do not absorb much heat and keeps our body cool even loose fitting clothes let the air in so we can wear loose fitting clothes and could feel comfortable in those clothes in winter season we generally use clothes made up of wool fur leather or flannel as they keep our body warm it is cold in winter seasons so we need such clothes that will keep our body warm and these clothes which are made from wood fur and leather or flannel absorbs heat and help us to feel comfortable and cozy even the darker clothes keep up our body warm and are usually preferred in winter season apart from the clothes we wear in different seasons we wear some special clothes that is per according to our work or institute or our organizations these special clothes are called uniform and it gives us a sense of pride and belongingness to that work to that institute or the organization in school you all have a common uniform it is because it shows a sense of equality among you all and also so that you will be easily recognized at the as a student of your school let us take some different examples doctor wear white coats and nurses wear white uniform this is because they show their pride and belongingness to that particular hospital similarly lawyer wear black coats because black coats are the uniform and they shows their belongingness to that coat soldiers pilots and policemen wear special uniform made up of thick fabric even a factory worker wears a special uniform that covers their body from neck to feet it is designed in such a way that no portion of the uniform gets stuck in the machine you may have also seen sports player have a special uniform this help us to recognize which team they are playing from traditional clothing india has vast variety of rich culture and tradition different parts of our country possesses different climate condition and tradition so people living in different parts of our country wear different types of clothes these clothing depends on the tradition and the climate of the place and thus this type of clothing is known as traditional clothing in india you will see that traditional dress worn by the people in shrinagar 
especially women in Faran, while women in Assam wear mekla chado. Next comes materials for clothes. Food, shelter, and clothing are the three basic needs human requires. All three are equally important, and human beings have always been experimenting with these needs. A constant experiment has always shown the reason behind the modification and advancement we need. From the prehistoric era, when early human wore leaves of trees, animal skin, or fur to the clothes we wear now, an advancement and modification has occurred. But have you ever thought or wondered what are clothes made up of? Clothes are made from fibers. Fibers are long and thin thread that are woven or stitched to become strands and strands are together collectively known as fabric. Can you tell which type of cloth we prefer in summer? Obviously, light color clothes or the cotton clothes. Winter season, cozy, thick and woolen clothes occupies the list. Bags which are made from the fabric need to be strong enough as they are made up of jute fibers. What about the soft and glossy clothes used in daily life? They are made from acrylic fibers. So these few indicate that there are a variety of fibers we use in our daily life. For our simplicity, we can divide these fibers into two categories, natural fibers and man-made fibers. Man-made fibers, which is also known as synthetic fibers. Natural fibers. As the name says, those fibers that are being obtained from the natural sources are natural fibers. So what could be the sources here? Obviously, the sources could be either plants or animals. Plants like cotton and jute provides plant fibers whereas animals like sheep, goat and camel gives animal fibers. Let's see with the examples. Silk, cotton, flax, hemp, jute, wool are some of the natural fibers examples. Features Generally the natural fibers are light in weight like coat, cotton and jute clothes. They are good sweat absorbent such as cotton clothes absorb sweat in summer season. They are soft in texture and they are found in variety of texture. The wool obtained from the ship keeps the body warm. Man-made fibers or synthetic fibers. These type of fibers are made by humans in laboratories, chemically and, and in industries. Or we can say the artificially made fibers by humans are known as man-made fibers. Example, rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic, terrelene, etc. Some of the features of man-made fibers are it resists rain like acrylic fibers which is used to make gumboots, umbrellas, easily resist rains. They are durable, they are not absorbent like they cannot absorb sweat in summer season or any kind of seasons. They dry quickly compared to the natural fibers and also they need low maintenance. Taking care of our clothes. Clothes are the first thing on the basis of which we set our first impression in the minds of the people. And also as clothes protects us in a variety of ways. Therefore, we should take care of our clothes and help them last longer. Let's see some of the ways we could take care of our clothes. Clothes must be washed regularly as washing the clothes regularly keeps away the germs and prevents spreading of bacteria. Clothes must be dried in sun as sunlight kills germs. The sun acts as an antibacterial and as a disinfectant. Its ultraviolet rays 
plays a major role in killing germs and prevention of the bacteria and other germs on our clothes silk and woolen clothes must be washed with mild detergent and should be stored properly with moth balls or dried leaves in closed boxes as silk and woolen clothes are made from the natural fibers and natural fibers are best suited for the survival of germs clothes of baby or the sick persons should be rinsed with antiseptic solution to kill germs because baby and the sick person can cause infection and diseases from almost anywhere and in order to prevent them from any diseases and keep them healthy their clothes need to be washed with antiseptic solution let's recap in case let's recap in case you have missed anything clothes are a basic need just like food and shelter clothes also plays a vital role in our living we wear clothes to cover our body and for protection from dust wind scorching heat of the sun and from different type of seasons our clothes depends on the activity or the work we do and according to the different states we live the different states we live and the clothes we wear accordingly is called traditional clothing and the cloth what is being depend on the work or activity are known as uniforms different seasons and weather require different type of clothing like in summer season we often wear light color clothes or cotton cloth clothes while in rainy season such clothes that are made from waterproof materials and in winter seasons clothes made from wool fur leather or flannel can be used clothes are made from natural fibers and man made fibers we need to take care of of clothes we need to take care let's recap the things what we have learned today in case you have missed it clothes are also a basic need just like food and shelter we wear clothes to cover our body and for protection from the scorching heat of the sun dust excessive cold rain and insect bites our clothing style depends on the work or activity we do called as uniform or according to the different states we live called as traditional clothing different seasons and weather require different items of clothing like in summer season we prefer cotton clothes or light color clothes while in winter season we prefer clothes made up of wool fur or leather while in rainy season we wear rain coats or gumboots that are made from waterproof material clothes are made from natural fibers and man made fibers natural fibers are those fibers which are obtained from plants and animals and man made fibers are artificially made by humans in laboratories and industries we need to take care of our clothes to make them last longer as clothes is a basic part of our life now here are some assessment questions for you all the first question define uniform traditional dress natural fibers synthetic fibers the second question name any two ways early men covered themselves special clothes india's traditional dresses next question why do we wear clothes next why do we prefer cotton clothes in summer how is traditional dress different from a uniform list any three ways to take care of clothes and last differentiate between natural fibers and man made fibers